I believe this one is better. Okay. Works, yes. Oh, it looks cooler now. <laughs> so, well, the first feature, now uh, relation between uh, length and diameter is uh, realistic and corresponds to real values. Um, the second improvement is that I added uh, membranes. Uh, they can be noticed by uh, they are displayed uh, with uh, blue triangles, um, which are usually uh, in pairs, forming some squares. Uh, but sometimes uh, the structure is more uh, irregular. Well, uh, I, I mean places like this. So the diameters uh, change and then uh, all the structure uh, reconfigures. Um, this is the head or nose tip of the worm. Uh, I don't know right now. I have not decided. What is it? No, no difference right now. Uh, and uh, red fibers uh, is uh, the uh, contractible muscle fibers, which I also added. Uh, well, and as we can notice, there is a liquid uh, inside the worm. Uh, small uh, blue particles. Um, so it looks like everything is on its place, but um, right now there is no uh, enumeration for um, muscle, uh, for individual uh, muscle or cells. Uh, I still need to do it to assign uh, each uh, segment of muscle or fibers its own uh, digit, uh, its number, to address it and to activate it separately. Uh, well, I tried to... Um, right now I can activate uh, this system on the whole thing and it can stretch a bit. Uh, if I will restart it uh, in a mode where physics uh, works. Right now it's static. For example, we can have a look at inner structure. Maybe this one is better. Oh, well, oh, I can show some. I can show some dynamics. Um, Please. seconds. Need some time. Um, I have some ideas how to improve uh, performance at start. Mm, there are some unoptimal but uh, efficiently working things which can be improved when it will be necessary. So you can notice that something happens inside. Um, not enough uh, pressure inside the worm right now uh, because uh, lack of uh, liquid particles. Um, one uh, function generates uh, elastic stuff and muscles, uh, the one which is new and cool. And um, the liquid is generated by an old variant and they are not um, very good synchronized. So uh, I need to improve generation of liquid particle positions and their number and then uh, we'll behave more adequately. So from the Interesting. So the parts that you don't have muscles seem to be crumpling uh, in a different pattern in response to pressure than the parts that have the muscle. 
you see, you see uh, when you were inside, it was like the yellow, the yellow parts there kind of are, um, yeah, they're kind of like more um, uh, rough, rough edge, and then it's more smooth on the top and the bottom, which is kind of interesting. You notice this? Oh, sorry. This, uh, you notice that the parts of the body that don't have muscle seem to uh, crumple more. Seem to. Yeah, uh, sure. Is it because, because the gravity is going down? Um, well, parts without muscles uh, have a thickness uh, of one layer. And uh, the muscles uh, are two or more, maybe ah. three. I don't remember. That's why. Exactly. There's more tension in the in the no, no. parts of muscle. So uh, this configuration has not enough extra pressure of liquid inside. Uh, when I will improve it, uh, this thing will will be okay. You just need to put more liquid inside, Andrew. Yes, just. Just this. Uh -huh. More liquid in good uh, initial configuration. Mm -hmm. Well, or the other thing is to maybe have a, a double membrane for the um, parts that don't have muscle. Maybe. Uh, also, some deformations at the tip. You got to initialize the worm a little closer to the ground. <laughs> yes, that's right. I want to see it hit the bottom. And so right now, you, Andre, you've got muscles running from head to tail? Yes, that's right. Is it like, Andre, is it uh, 96 muscles or 95? Is it all of them? Um, not right now. Uh, I mean, Mm, there are more uh, individual uh, muscular connections than 95. Mm -hmm. uh, so I need to uh, split uh, all existing uh, continuous uh, muscle fibers into segments which will correspond to real uh, muscle cells. Mm -hmm. cool. Oh, it became a flat worm. <laughs> <laughs> a tapeworm. <laughs> It's a round worm. Yes, it's, it's, right. it's going to recover. <laughs> Is it yes. going to bounce back? Yeah, it's bouncing back. <laughs> yeah, it's because Why? of the because of the elasticity in the body. Exactly. I wonder how much real worms flatten if you drop them. They flatten a bit, but not how much. Maybe not this much. <laughs> Uh, so um, cool. We don't we don't know that. Yeah, we just, we By the way, guys, uh, now we can notice a problem. Uh, at least a few uh, particles are outside of the worm. They're leaking a little bit. Uh, he, here, here is one of them. So I will need to think about how this happened. Eh, I wouldn't. Don't worry too much about like a couple particles leaking out. <laughs> uh, I mean, not that. Leaking. Uh, and one, and one here. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But the Smoke. problem, the problem might become worse when you increase the pressure. Right. That's true. Okay. Beautiful. Change to another resolution. Oh, it looks not, not very nice right now. <laughs> hey, it looks nicer than it did last week. Remember that? It was nice to me. It was like a toothpaste uh, squeezed out of a tube last week. Uh, uh, this is much better. Last week it was like a sock. Yeah. This week it's, it's more like a slug. More like a so, slug. So, guys, I plan to um, upload it to um, a GitHub. Maybe somebody would like to play with it. Yes, please. <laughs> it requires quite a lot of uh, computer resources, a lot of 